right, so we got our Voyager installed. Everything's looking good. Uh, I kind of wanted to do a quick little overview of what it is and why you might want to use it. Uh, so in the admin side of things, uh, we have these uh, by default data types that are available to us. We got the media manager, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we got a, some posts, sort of basic blog functionality, uh, some pages, uh, and then what's I think really interesting out of the box, you get a menu builder, which is pretty handy if you want to customize your menus in any way. Uh, we'll get more into this later, but for now, just understand that you can basically create your menu. If, you're, if you've used WordPress before, I think they have this now built in. Uh, so that's really handy. And then we also have this database thing, which is a way to manage your... Uh, like So if you create your custom uh, content types, then you have the way with this interface to build out what those fields can be uh, in terms of like, say, if you want to have an image upload, a rich text editor, uh, you know, text field, those types of things, you can control that through this interface. And that's pretty handy. But uh, another thing I wanted to look at um, there's also settings, which I haven't really dug into those yet, but we'll dig into them at some point. Uh, another thing I wanted to look at, though, was what has actually changed in our base Laravel application. So really, if you go into the app folder, there's nothing really different. Uh, there's no new controllers. There's no new middleware or anything, not even any new models. Um, the only thing that you will notice is in your routes file. This is your standard route, and then they also added in this has been added now by the Voyager install process. And that is basically just uh, defining your admin routes and that's it. So I think it's kind of interesting to notice that uh, because on the front end side, you actually have complete control and you can do whatever you want to do with these, with this application. So it's up to you. Uh, some people might see that as a negative in the fact that you have to do more, but in some regards, I think that is a positive because, you know, we all want to build our apps slightly differently. And what you're adding here with this package is an admin panel. Uh, you're not, it's not adding a way to do the front end as well. Uh, so that gives you a lot of leeway. And I, and I think that'll become apparent as we work through building out a site. Um, but there is benefits to both ways. Like if you think WordPress, Sometimes it's kind of annoying for a couple of reasons, but one of them is also, right, you have a very specific way that you have to build out your front end. Uh, not very specific, but on some levels, like you, you have to have your, uh, was it the index.php file? And then depending on how your content types were structured or content types were structured, you had to have like a posts archive.php or something like that. And that you're, it was kind of restricted. I mean, you could do what you mostly would want to do probably, but in this regard, now it's completely up to you. And I think that is uh, actually a benefit because now you get to build what you want and you don't have to work around something else that's pre-existing. You just get to create that. Uh, so that's, I think, pretty awesome. And we'll be diving into that more in the next couple of videos. So I just wanted to show basically the state that we're in after installation and what do we get uh, from all of these cool little things.